You can change not only the world, but the truth of everything with its power. Since you don't seem to understand, let me show you the power of the Zodiac Stone. Behold! What the fuck is this? Gaming and the end of chapter 2 awaits us. Well, let's play Final Fantasy Tactics! But before we rush to the end of the chapter, um, yeah, I did some more grinding. Boris Hill is probably, well, is the only real spot to grind at at the moment, so I'm gonna go back and forth between that and Boris Trace City to trigger random encounters was fucking annoying. So I will put that out there right now. That being said, though, um, but yeah. Um, the only things I really did for Ramza was more so just getting any miscellaneous abilities. More so on Thief. Now, I mastered the Thief job class for him more so to make use of, well, the steel abilities. Because as I told you guys in the last episode, some of the humanoid enemies that can spawn at Morris Hill Random Encounters carries equipment that you won't be able to purchase in this chapter. Some you can only get in Chapter 3, like the Power Sleeve, for example. The power, oh yeah, you can also buy the Brigandines as well as the, um, the, the Brigandines and the, uh, Diamond Armlets at the, um, at War Trade City after you get Agoras in the party. Half of MP, which will reduce the cost of her magic spells by half. And more importantly, I got, um, Carbuncle, which has reflected on everybody, Leviathan, water damage on all enemies, Lich, which basically is like Diablo's a la Final Fantasy VIII, and um, Sylph, which basically does what it does like in Final Fantasy IV. Very fucking nice. From Stadio, I mastered um, Engineer, got on some stuff on Chemist, and now I have him working on Archer so he can get speed save. And as far as Agaris is concerned, I spent a lot of time on Chemist to get what I needed for her. Not everything, but it'll be there. So, I still have a ways to go to finish leveling up her Holy Knight. That being said though, with that exposition out the way, it's time to go to the Goron Execution Site. We gotta save Ovalia. That being said though, just like the last battle, we have to split this, um, our party into two, into two sections. So, that being the case, see Ramza, Daisy, and Mustadio. And the other team will consist of Agares, and Dorma. Alright, perfect! We're all set to go. Let's see it. Let's see if we can get Ovalia back. Come on, hurry up. There you go. Oh! Oh shit, she's at the guillotine! Any last words? Hmm, nothing? Wow. I mean, you're kind of about to die and you just don't have anything to say? Oof. Well, time to die then, I guess. Huh? What the? It's the enemy! Nani? Hey, dudes! That's far enough! Return the princess now! <laughs> you're, you're as gullible as ever, I see. You fell into the trap. Huh? Ta da! Gafgorion! Oh! Bitch! Oh, you gotta be. Oh, man. Fucking ambush. You're still too naive, kid. Where is the princess? At Lionel Castle. Where is the stone? Stone? Stop playing dumb with me. The stone you stole from the Cardinal. You're the one who stole it. Just hand it over. Actually, Mustadio stole it. <laughs> Not me. But if you want it, you'll have to take it from my cold, dead fucking corpse. Assuming, of course, you can land that strike. Which you won't. Seems you've matured a bit. Then I will. Fine then. You want another uh, humiliating battle, Gavgarion? You got it. Cause it's time for a boss fight! The key just right here is to get rid of Gavgarion first, as per usual. Because if not, he will spam the fuck out of Night Sado and keep restoring his fucking HP, and we can't have that shit. So, yeah, he has to die first. That being said, though, we got like three knights. Three 
knights, two time mangers, and two archers. Yummy. <laughs> but yeah, let's get this bitch out of here first. You have the nerve to fucking come after me again after your humiliating loss last time? Time to get fisted again, old man. Pew! Ow! What the? I'm impressed. You blocked my attack. <laughs> I have a feeling you weren't go you wouldn't go down that easily. Considering the first fight you you kinda went down like that. However, I'm not the only one in this fight, bruh. Un unless you kinda forgot that. <laughs> From behind! Well then. Damn it. I didn't expect you to be this strong. Retreat for now! Out of here! Bruh. There he goes again! Well, now we just have to take care of the trash. Yay. Hurry up! Uh oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Bitch! The metal! Man. Why do you bother? No! No! Stupid bitches! Why do you bother? <laughs> Cheeks clapped! Literally! And very rough at that. Seriously, like, Dorma got like two crits! Shit. Hurry up, bitch! Like, can I get a turn sometime today? Like, I know you casters are slow as shit, but fuck. Like, I wanna get something done. Oh, yeah, viewers, um, even as an archer, Mistadio's sniping abilities can still be used. Uh huh. So, yeah, don't be afraid to switch him to Archer, because he'll still be able to use his, well, his snipe abilities. Sexy, isn't it? Indeed it is. Alright, the rest of this battle is pretty much cake now. Ugh. There you go. Good job, baby. Alright, now we just have to get these bitches out of here. Um... I might as well just use Ifrit. Ifrit will basically torch this bitch. <laughs> Alright, Agadez. Now, let's get some Stasis Asado in. Stasis Asado! Ew! There you go. Kinda wanted to stop the bitch, but... Was that it? Are you done? Hurry up! Oh yeah, of course, uh, of course it misses her comrade, right? Bruh. Ha! Yeah, sorry, bitch, but you didn't get as lucky as your friend there. Huh. That sucks. That mega sucks. Ah. Time to get fisted, bitch! <laughs> Time to blaze down! Bitch! Daisy! <laughs> we must go to Lionel Castle immediately. Right. Whoo! They stood no chance. If that's all the Cardinal had as bodyguards, the rest of the chapter is going to be cake now. Like, seriously, most of them got one or two shotted. That's a shame. Uh, ooh, cutscene. Aren't you eating? You can't go on without food. No one will mourn your death, you know. In fact, it should make most people happy. You won't die. Just eat the food. I knew you were in with the Cardinal. If you aren't turning me over to Lord, what's your plan? Taking you somewhere you belong. That's all. So, you're using me too. But you can't make me do whatever you want. You have no choice if you want to live. Damn. What's that mean? It means... So, she is Ovalia. Oh, it's this guy again, from Daughter. Huh. How are you, princess? If you behaved, you wouldn't be here now. Hmm, she's almost too good a substitute for a princess. Nani? <laughs> Mr. Vamov, she doesn't know yet. Vamov, huh? 
I see. Poor girl. What are you talking about? Listen carefully. You're not Ovalia. What? The real princess died long ago. You're a substitute. Oh, wow! No, that's a lie! It's not a lie. You are not Ovalia. Old senators who didn't care for Princess Lavuria made you. So someday you succeed the throne, ousting the princess. They killed two other princes, making it look like illness, and adopted you as princess. They all thought Omadia was too weak to make another son, so you took the throne. However, Orenas was born. Even now, no one's sure if the prince is really his son. Lark may have had seeds, wink wink, planted to make his sister the king's mother. Hey yo, what the fuck? I don't understand that! You know what? I'm not even gonna speculate on that shit. In any case, the old man's plan was ruined. Liar! I don't believe it! Think what you will. Whether you're the princess or not really doesn't matter to us. What matters is that we have an ace up our sleeve called a princess. Hmm. What are you going to do to me? What do you want? Nothing. Just be a princess as you are now. My ancestors were Atashitas. Whatever the fuck that is. No one can control me. Then what? If Laura catches you, he'll kill you, right? We just want you to, we just want to help you take the throne. That's all. Who are you? <laughs> We're neither allies of Lord nor supporters of Gotana. Just collaborators, right in the middle. But Ma, let her calm down. Once she comes to her senses, she won't refuse our help. Yes, you're right. What is up with these holy men, man? I don't understand this. Let's go, Delita. Delita's working for that guy? Damn, Ovalia's doomed. Devastating news. Oh, surprise, you're not the actual princess. You're just a fake. <laughs> Damn, they really know how to fuck with her head, man. That is fucking awful. Well, in any case, the path to Lionel Castle was clear now. Our viewers of Mac had to take care of that random as fuck random encounter. <laughs> the path to Lionel was clear. Oops, random encounter. Bastards. <laughs> the game that is, viewers, not you. That being said, though. Yes. Now, viewers, we've arrived at the gates of Lionel Castle. Before you even get here, make sure that your team is set. And I'm talking set. Now, here's the thing. On, now, from where, um, going back from the execution site, which, now the thing is, you, I told you guys about that archer, right, that I stole that stuff from? Now, if you come, if you go from Warriors Trade City to Glorious Valley, that archer has a chance of showing up. However, if you go from the Gora execution site to Glorious Valley that way, now there is a chance that a female knight will show up. And in one of those battles and she has some pretty good stuff equipped um uh, sleep sword ancient sword flame shield diamond shield diamond helm plantana helm wizard robe linen robe power wrist and defense armlet so you know just so you know you know now and oh yeah viewers if you if you have any party members doing propositions right now we're pretty much at the end of chapter two. So if you have anyone on propositions, make sure that they're back before you get to the um to back to Lionel Castle. Because if you happen to get to Lionel Castle and they're still doing propositions when the chapter ends, they are gone forever. Yes. You won't see them again. Okay? Now you know. Alright, now let's do this. Alright, the penultimate battle before the final battle of the chapter. Wait, wait, what the fuck? Ram Ramses by himself? Huh. Okay, then. Hmm, this is interesting. I wonder what's going to happen here. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. At the gate of Lionel Castle.
Hmm. Oh, okay, now I see. Wait, dear. I'll open the gate. Where are the where are the guards? Not so fast. Uh, figures. Gafgarion, you again? You got in all right, but you didn't notice the ambush. Ambush? Oh, come on! Can I not go anywhere without getting ambushed by the enemy? Damn! <laughs> Mike, it's just you and me now. It's me you must fight with. A guard! Gafgarion, I've had enough. Okay? This the sec this the third time you ju you just fuck shit up. I'm done. Time for you to die. This time you will not escape. Cause it's time for a boss fight versus Gafgarion and his backup dancers. <laughs> but yeah, Ramza has to face Gafgarion on his own in this fight. Now, if you have not been raising Ramza properly, Ramza is boned. However, if you actually know what the fuck you're doing, you might be okay. You might be okay. I don't know. I don't know how you raise Ramza viewers. But the way I raised Ramza, I know he'll be alright. Now the thing is, Gump going on would pretty much heal himself infinitely with Night Sword. So, yeah, you're gonna have to counter this. Like, a lot. And it's really annoying to that. Start off by having Ramza use Yell to boost up his speed, and then start going ham on Gafgarion when you get the chance. However, on the other side of the gate are other party members that to deal with, like, six people. Two knights, no, three knights, two archers, and a summoner. A summoner. <sighs> Unfortunately for them, I will not stay away from the summoner. The summoner has to die, which I recommend that you take care of first. If, if it all possible. Wave a Vesta! Damn! <laughs> Knocked her ass back! There you go. Huh. Where are you going? Night the Sordo! Guff Goyan, that was like 27 HP. You suck ass. Seriously, I don't even need a healing ability on Ramsey because I know I'll win this. Is, hurry up! Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha! Commando, bitch! See, this is why I love having Dorma take point. Commando! Ooh! There you go. They all try to dog pile on him. Look at this shit! Pew! Pew! Double fist that bitch! They just don't learn. Do you not know that I have Hamato equipped? Are you that brain dead? Huh, you must be. Hmm, that's such a shame. That being said, though, now, Stasis Asato! No! Oh! I didn't even see the target marker on Dorma! Wow, that was close! Oh, that was close. If that would have did more damage, Dorma would have been boned. In case, well, this chick is boned anyway. The fuck? How can you block me? You're... You know what? Just forget it. Your night sword sucks ass now. It was so cool at the beginning of the game, too. Well, in any case, now it's been fun. Die! Boom! Son of a bitch! I shall take out the trash. Fuck off. Double fist that bitch! Boom! Boom! <laughs> finally! Finally! Die, die, die! Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Gavgarion has left the building. About damn time. Shit. Now, Titan! First, beauty! Titan rocks the house. <laughs> or in this case, the castle. Uh, is this the end? Yeah, it is. For you. 
Bye. Goodbye, Gulfgarion. Enjoy your one-way ticket to hell. One way, of course, obviously. Bye. <laughs> We must save the princess before reinforcements arrive. Right. Gofgorion just died and left a crystal there that will never pick up. Wow. Wouldn't it be amazing if Dad dropped the Dark Knight class when he died? Hmm. Seems like an interesting concept. Too bad it didn't happen. Or did it? Hmm. Did that happen in the PSP version? Because I think I heard somewhere Dark Knight comes available as a job in the PvP version. I could be wrong, though. However, well, viewers, we got one more chance to, to, re um, to formation our party before we take on the final battle of Chapter 2. I'm all set to go. Oh, wait, no. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not set to go yet. I was about to rush right in there because I almost completely forgot the reason I got these defense rings. Viewers, equip defense rings on your party. Why? To protect against sleep and death silence. I love Arnold, but you know, we gotta move on. Now then! Viewers, prepare yourself for one hell of an annoying boss fight. This is by far one of the most annoying boss fights of this point in the game. Equip those defense rings, because if not, you will die. I'll just tell you that right now. Prepare yourself also for one of the most annoying boss fights that features status elements. Because I won't be able to block them all! Ah, <laughs> uh, sus music! Well, it's the Cardinal himself! Do you want to die too? Gofgorion is not as good as he says. Or was it bad luck? <laughs> Anyhow, you're good. You have B of all blood in your veins after all. Even if you are a bastard. Who the fuck are you calling a bastard? You're the one that kidnapped the princess and used her as, as a hostage. And you're calling me a bastard? I can't stand you holy guys, man. You, you talk all this shit. You, you preach all this good shit. But then you go behind people's backs and do all this evil shit. That's why I never trust priests. But I don't need your interference anymore. Leave the stone here. If you resist, I'll show you no mercy. What the fuck can you do? You're a fucking overweight priest who just makes threats but can't back them up. Damn! Damn! Where the fuck is the princess? Why must you save her? You deserted the Beavals. What can you change by yourself? Don't waste energy. Without power, nothing can be achieved. You're powerless. Where is the princess? Enough with the mindless babble. She's not here. She left for Zentania. Damn, princess. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Ramza. Your princess is in another castle. Oh, come. She chose our help over yours. That's a bold faced fucking lie. She has begun to think for herself. She felt unsure of you and chose us for obvious reasons to take the throne. Why don't you join us? You want to get the best of your brother's sales, right? We care about the world too. How about it? I don't want to change the world. I just can't allow people to suffer and die because of some elitist ideals. Change the world? You think anyone really can? I'm not that reckless. <laughs> You're the one holding the stone! You can change not only the world, but the truth of everything with its power. Since you don't seem to understand, let me show you. The power of the Zodiac Stone. Behold! What the fuck is this? How about that? Surprise? 
Now, let me have my fun. I want to hear your screams and suffering death cries. What the fuck is this ugly creature? Oh my god, and I thought the Cardinal was portly. This dude's even worse. Well, in any case, we gotta take out his fat ass. Cause it's time for boss fights versus Crocklane. Or the Impure King, as he's called. Now, this is known as a Lukabi demon. Yes, you heard me right, Lukabi demon. I don't know how much HP he has. So, we're just gonna have to kick his ass one by one until we, you know, get the deed done. Quaclane is annoying because he has moves like Bio 2, Bio 3, which can basically inflict status almost 100% of the time. Nightmare, Chicken, Death, and it can even inflict Sleep, Death, Silence, Don't Act, and Slow, respectively. It basically deals, it, 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 it's like Bad Breath a la Marlboro's. Viewers, it is amazingly detrimental. This is just one of those particular boss fights in which you have to kill him quickly because if you don't, you will die. And your viewers, another tip that you should know do not have your party members grouped up together. Quaclane has this nasty habit of using Bio 2 and 3 as an AoE. And if your party members are grouped up together, they will die. I'm telling you this from experience. This, uh, I've died to this boss before. He's, he's, he, he's not a pushover. However, I'm not a pushover either. Boom! Boom! Huh. So, he, so he has over two th 200 HP then. Good to know. What the hell? He just shot the... Oh! Oh, shit, shit! <laughs> Woo, that was close. Kind of shocked I didn't inflict any status elements. Maybe I got lucky because sleep and death sentence didn't work anyway. So, if that if that was the case. But yeah, I can't I can't have you go about doing this shit, buddy. The viewers, I must say I like the Lukavi boss theme. It's awesome. Yeah! I got him already! <laughs> well, I'm immortal. How can I be losing? It's impossible. I can't die until he resurrects. Too bad, bruh. Go and join Gavgarion in hell. Fuck off! No! in the game so far, but that one was the ugliest! Quaclane, huh? The impure king. Huh. He was a Lukavi demon. Meanwhile, it's a Tinia castle. Oh! 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 It's you who saved Ovalia. Goltana! Ha! Huh, interesting. Deletes a black sheep knight under Baron Grimm's in Hyrule. I was sent under the order of Baron Grimm's to save the princess. I've returned. Mission completed. Hyrule? Never heard of him. The Baron died in battle last month with the Ro with the Royumoku. The black sheep were entirely wiped out. That's why I returned. How's the princess? Sleeping soundly. She's exhausted from the long trip. I heard I heard you brought a prisoner. Yes, sir. Bring him. A thief? Ugh. Why did you kidnap the princess? What? We framed Gotana to prevent him from L Lanasia taking the regency. Who gave you the order? Prince Lark? 
one of Gotana's aides who wants to join Lar. What? Ridiculous! No aides would do that! Silence this lout! No need. Listen. Who is it? Uh, talk now! Will you save my life? All right, I promise. Who is it? It's him. Minister Gilwan. No fucking way! How dare you! It's a lie! I don't even know you! Who seduced you? The queen? That's absurd! I don't know anything! Treason's a serious crime, minister. I said I don't know a thing! Damn! Damn! He just up there murdered the dude like that! Let me say this. We must go to the capital with the Natan now, or they may hold you responsible for this plot. First, let's remove Orenis and the Queen, then get the Princess on the throne. What the fuck just happened here? Man, the Lito really has gotten savage. Gotana went to Lasalia and confined Revelia and Bathida for kidnapping the princess and left the princess a seat to the throne. But Larg insisted Orenis was legitimate successor and had him a seat to the throne. I'm fast forwarding viewers because you know the text is slow. Then Larg became the regent as a guardian. Immediately after, Larg sent the Hoddleton led by Orenis to Bathida to rescue the queen. Meanwhile, Gotana sent the Natan led by Ovalia. What? So, was Dreadclaw telling the truth and she really did follow them? This, this was the beginning of the upheaval, which would later be called the Lion War. Wow. Hence, War of the Lions. Yeah, I get it, I get it. Wow. And well, viewers, we have come to the end of Chapter 2. Holy fucking shit! <laughs> this was a wild-ass chapter. From getting Ramza and Delita's backstory and origins in Chapter 1, to facing down traitors and even demons in Chapter 2. This was a wild chapter, and we've only just gotten started. Chat if you thought chapter 2 was wild, chapter 3 will blow your fucking mind. Next time! If you guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for gaming vids from me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell so you're notified of my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment, duh. Till next time, dudes and dudettes. This is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smite later.